What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys a new list of actually the best guns to be using in Warzone if you guys are trying to kill people the fastest. Now, this is for people who are fully armored up and everything of that sort. So say for instance, if you're going against one person that is a fully armored dude, then you are going to be shredding him the fastest with these guns and this list. So I want you guys to know that ahead of time, this is for somebody that is fully armored up. So this is actually going to be really, really an insane list to actually be having in your basically, I guess you would say knowledge so before we get to that i want you guys to subscribe if you're new around here i want you to also drop a thumbs up to today's video and then i also want you to comment down below and tell me which weapon you are most shocked to see on this list and then i want you to tell me down below what is your most favorite weapon to be using in warzone but it's good much once again let's get right into this so starting things off i want to say that this was tested not even just with headshots but it was also below the head damage no headshots anything like that just below the head damage and you would actually be surprised to see that coming in at number 10 is the fr 5.56 which in some cases people call it the famas now this gun is honestly one of the slowest apparently in the assault rifle category with a 834 millisecond kill speed Moving on along to number 9, the SCAR. The SCAR has a 700 millisecond kill speed. That was honestly, that was honestly kind of shocking to me because I felt like the SCAR was kind of a good weapon to be using. Honestly, that's just, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me because I hit my headshots more. I don't know. But this is based off all below the head damage. So moving on along to the number 8 one, which would be the M13. The M13 does a 650 millisecond kill speed. This was kind of shocking to me as well because honestly I main the M13 in Warzone and honestly I kind of slaughter with it. So that's basically just, I'm going to keep using the M13 but that's just me. But we're just going to keep on moving along the list. So moving on to number 7, it is the Growl 5.56 with a 640 millisecond kill speed which is just 10 below the M13. Which is honestly kind of shocking to me. The Growl is a pretty nasty gun, it's pretty powerful and honestly I just... I, didn't, I wasn't expecting this. Moving along to number 6, which is the Kilo 141 with a 616 millisecond kill speed. So, this one is better than the Growl and the M13 and the Scar and the FAMAS. The Kilo is better than all of those. That is kind of shocking to me. I don't know. That's just, that's insane. Let me, let me know in the comments if you guys are shocked so far with this list. Because coming in at number 6 being the Kilo as one of the fastest, that's insane. Now, moving on along to number 5, and it's honestly no shock to anybody, it's the M4A1 with a 576 millisecond kill speed. Now, I feel like this is an honest, balanced, I don't know, I feel like this was kind of like to be expected. I didn't think it was going to be the fastest, but I thought it was going to be one of the best, and it is number 5. So, moving on along to number 4, and most people could actually, you know, call this one, it is the Ram 7 with a 544 millisecond kill speed. This gun shoots so fast and it does so much damage. The Ram 7 is honestly a more versatile assault rifle. Sometimes I classify it as a AR sub because of the fire rate and honestly how fast you can move with it with the mobility speed and everything like that. I really do like the Ram 7. I just personally do not main it because I need something a little bit more range in a sense. I don't know. It just makes me feel like I need something a little bit better. But the Ram 7 is a decent gun to be using. Moving on along to number 3 and it's the Odin with a 552 millisecond kill speed. Now, the only reason why I would say the Odin is good, I honestly, I just, I don't know, man. The Odin is just, it's, it's good in the right hands, but I just don't think, I don't, I don't know, man. I, I, I just don't think that, I don't know. It's just not for me. It's just not for me. I don't know. For all you Odin users out there, I just want to say that, you, you know, I have mad respect for you. But honestly, that gun is just not for me. It's not for me. I like the Odin. Like, I liked it whenever I was trying to get like platinum and stuff. But like in Warzone, it is not for me. Moving along to number two, it is the AK-47. With the base model being a 535 millisecond kill speed. And with a 5.45 ammunition, it is a 522 millisecond kill speed. Now that, with the 5.45 ammunition, is an insanely overpowered combination this ak-47 in warzone and i have been doing some testing with it the ak-47 literally is a tear in warzone this gun is a monster to have in your arsenal in warzone 
Moving on, on to the number one gun, and this is going to be the biggest shocker to everybody, but I did make a video about this, and I did try to tell people about this. The FN Foul. Coming in at number one with a 480 millisecond kill speed. Now, so many people were giving me so much hate because I made that video about the Foul being one of the best weapons, if not the best weapon in Warzone. And so many people were telling me how they were doubting. But based off of these test results and everything like that, I will say that I was right about that. I can't believe, like, honestly, the foul is by far one of the best weapons. Actually, the best weapon to kill the fastest in Warzone. In my opinion, it's all about hitting your shots. And not only just that, some people do not have a trigger finger. So I feel like maybe the foul just isn't for everybody. Maybe people just rely on automatics. But with me, I, I grew up on Call of Duty and stuff like that. And so, like, I've always played shooters and everything like that. So I do have a nasty uh, trigger finger. I do like using the foul. I, I, I don't know. Like, it's just, I like semi-autos. Like, it's honestly a really, really good gun to be having in warzone because it honestly will kill very very fast in warzone now one thing i want you guys to do is tell me if you guys are shocked about this list i'm going to show you the whole list and everything like that again i don't know i just i i just personally believe that this list was honestly a big eye opener for me but just see like it just the comparison to other guns I don't know. Hopefully this guys, uh, hopefully this helps you out and hopefully you can actually make some more loadouts and honestly see yourself improve in Warzone now by using different guns and maybe even using one of the most overpowered guns. Much love once again guys. Make sure you guys subscribe once again. Comment down below and do drop a thumbs up to today's video. Peace.